Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about HBAR. And I'm going to start with this, Hedera versus Ethereum. We're now in 2024 and I'm very and I'm very excited. I'm anticipating more projects jumping off Ethereum all throughout this year. Because when you look at Hedera versus Ethereum, first you see DLT type DAG based hash graph versus blockchain based plus smart contract. But then it gets interesting. Transactions per second, 10,000 plus versus 18 plus for Ethereum. Finality, three to five seconds for Hedera. Ethereum, 10 to 20 seconds. This is the big one. The fees, way less than a penny for Hedera versus $13 plus for Ethereum. Who nowadays is still paying those fees and actually enjoying paying those fees? Because, you know, there's so many better networks out there and Hedera is absolutely incredible. They killed it all throughout 2024. Three, and now they're going to kill it all throughout 2024 once again but look at the depths 500 plus for hedera 3000 plus for ethereum but i see projects jumping from ethereum to other networks all the time it's happening with xdc as well bitcoin must theoretically reach three hundred twenty thousand dollars this cycle basically a 7x to 8x from here, based on the last rally, from $3,800 to $67,000. HBOR, on the other hand, can go to $1.80, a 17x to 18x from current price, based on the last rally from a penny to 45 cents. You can calculate it yourself. I don't understand what all the hype is for Bitcoin for the retail investor. What do they plan to possibly make off of Bitcoin? There's so many better networks out there. Plus, you got to look at the fact that utility is starting to kick in at a small level now. Once that really picks up, and I think that's going to happen throughout 2024, the sky is the limit for a cryptocurrency like HBAR. And I still think we're going to surpass $1.80. I think we're going to surpass $3.00. Wiseart, AG, subsidiary of WiseKey, secures investment from the Hashgraph Association for pioneering authenticated digital assets and cryptocurrencies. Wiseart is also going to be expanding all throughout 2024. It's not just Hedera, it's also the projects that are tied to Hedera. Red Swan is building on Hedera to broaden the accessibility to CRE investing through tokenization by providing a compliant security token studio issuance and integ integrated wallet development technology to their ecosystem. You know, Red Swan is also going to expand this year. Tokenization is going to start to boom all throughout this year. And I'm very excited to see where Red Swan goes. I'm happy, I'm excited to see where Hedera goes because this is one network that does not stop growing. DMZ is the first real world asset DAO tokenization protocol on Hedera EVM. Features include no code smart contract generation, governance, automated distributions, and composability. Plan for January 2024 using Hedera token service. And look at what they have to offer. All-in-one platform, EVM compatible, Web3 Investment Club. And then you continue down and their use cases are incredible. Tech Startup, Sports Business Club, Enterprise Project, Gaming Community. And that's going to continue to grow and expand all throughout this year as well. Adding value to Hedera. Adding value to HBAR. Decoding CBDC. Paper by Currency Research points out to XRP Ledger as a core technology for CBDCs, but it also praises Algo, 
Hedera, HBAR, Stellar XLM, Hyperledger, and Corda. You know, it was not so long ago that when you talked about CBDCs, Hedera wasn't even mentioned at all. That's how far we have come with HBAR. You know, it's been ecosystem growth after ecosystem growth. But then we're also getting involved with CBDCs, carbon credits, tokenization. We're going in the same direction that Ripple's going in after all the money. This panel was only one for, from one month ago. Drop, FedNow, Hedera. Yes, the native digital asset HBAR can be used. Enough said. Now all that's left is just be patient. You know, once Drop was announced with the Fed, that was game changing. That's going to bring a lot of value to HBAR. It's going to bring a ton of transactions to the Hedera network as well. Department of Defense, see what's happening in Ukraine? They are pivoting towards unmanned autonomous systems. DOD mentions the necessity of hardware and software providers. The future of war is changing. Interestingly, a U.S. DOE, DOD, and NSF funded data security provider, Takeon, announced its use of Hedera consensus service in November. Previously, Hedera had been utilized by Boeing's SkyGrid project and Neuron in a UK government-sponsored aviation trial. Hedera is getting tied to everything all around the world. It's the Department of Defense now as well, through partnerships. Around the same time, Hedera was making other partnerships with providers linked to government level, as well as winning awards for their success. Hedera is making strides in a field mostly littered with corruption and fraud. Now, I don't know why they mentioned that, but they are getting more and more tied to the government. And that shows you where Hedera is going to be in the future. You know, once regulations come, HBAR is still going to be with us into the future, where all these meme coins are going to disappear at a very fast pace. And that's why I said, utility is the future. Saucer Swap is up 300% in the last 60 days, has really set the whole Hedera ecosystem on fire. Saucer Swap Labs is the backbone of Hedera DeFi, and great to see it doing really well. 2024 is the beginning of something special for Sauce, HBAR, and the rest of the HTS tokens. You know, Saucer Swap is actually, it's just incredible. I am i have no words for how incredible this project is doing. Once it got launched, I said, this is going to be massive. And sure enough, it has not disappointed in any way. The release of Wallet Connect is just around the corner, enabling developers building on Hedera. And we'll be launching huge new features exclusive to Hashpack. 2024 is the year the whole world learns about Hedera. What's in your hash pack? You know, it's advancement after advancement. Always building upon the already amazing technology as well. That's why I said, in the next run, I think HBAR is going to be in the top 10. And at some point in the future, it's going to be a top 5 cryptocurrency. Wait and see. Coin of the day by social activity. Once again, Hedera HBAR. HBAR is the native token of Hedera, an enterprise-grade public network. The network utilizes Hashgraph, which is an alternative type of distributed ledger to blockchain. And it's nice to see it announced as coin of the day once again. Kabila is also building out. Learn how to NFT on Hedera in 2024. Like any new skill in life, practice makes perfect. Kabila Academy is here to support your learning process. Web3 is the future, and sooner or later, everyone will be learning how to NFT. So why not start today? And they are also making it very easy for people to learn how to build NFTs. And you know, NFTs right now, people are like, oh, it's just worthless art. But NFTs are starting to gain utility as well. 
and they're going to start to gain in value all throughout 2024. Hedera team has great plans for 2024. The best performing projects during a bull run are the ones that have been building during the bear market. And let me tell you something, I made a lot of videos during this bear market. And whenever I did an HBAR video, I always pointed out the unique use cases, how the ecosystem is expanding with absolutely no price movement. We are about to see that value reflected in the price. What Hedera has built in the last 18 months is more than some chains do during their whole existence. I'm also extremely happy to have Charles Atkins on board as his priceless experience is going to take Hedera to the next level. We are expecting so many use cases to go live. Way more transactions per second. More new governing council members to join. Fewer coins released. More revenue and more growth within the ecosystem. HBAR is going to reach the top 10 in this bull run. And I can see HBAR at $3 by 2025. You know, I could see the same thing happening because I started making videos in 2022, one of the worst years in crypto. And during that time, I kept saying, look at how HBAR is expanding, but there's no price movement. Then 2023 got here and I thought, well, this is the year we're going to start to see that value. We went throughout the whole year with non-stop ecosystem growth and yet no major price movement. 2024 is going to be the year of value. We're going to start to see HBAR hit some nice prices. And once it starts to take off, you got to remember a lot of FOMO money is going to pour into HBAR as well. And it's going to be an absolutely exciting time. I cannot wait to share that with all of you. But you know, until it all happens, you got to stay patient and stay positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, I got a new microphone. Let me know what you think of the quality of it. I'm still trying to soundproof my office. Get the time to soundproof my office. That way it'll take out some of that echo as well. But let me know what you all think. And again, have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.